since I had a really bad childhood, uh, I always had a uh, kind of had a feeling of uh, anxiety and guilty uh, because m my parents never praised me. And so I never had the feeling of uh, accomplishment, but I had this uh, passion of I need to prove myself, you know, like do something amazing. After I started to work in the film industry, um, uh, I feel like my body started to fall apart, and also my mind too. And uh, I felt like uh, almost like a trapped. That was a moment I felt like, okay, I need help or I need to change. So when I started to create a large size portrait, um, my feeling changed a lot. The, the big difference was uh, the film job, it's all about waiting, waiting to something to happen. But uh, art is quite different. I need to be the one who make, ha make something happen every day. Beginning of 2016, Gary Oldman, uh, he wrote to me. And so there's a project he wants me to work on. He said, OK, this is about Winston Churchill. I know you were retired, but I really want you to do a design on it. And I wasn't sure if I should do it. If I take film job right away, uh, I felt like I'm uh, betraying my life decision. But I, n I never had a chance to work on the film with the main char character has uh, makeup on, portraying a historical person. I felt like, okay, if I say no to this, I will regret. So I came back to Gary and, okay, I, I would like to take this job. The whole process to create the Churchill makeup was, uh, it took about uh, almost like five months. By the time that the film was ended, I felt like, I, oh my God, I worked on a really amazing thing. <laughs> I was a part of it. I never felt this way in my whole career. I wanted to make sure that everybody involved will be nominated. Uh, because there's sometimes in the past that I was kind of knocked out from a group of uh, nominated people. The day of the Oscar, I don't remember much because I was so nervous and the, the, my goal was just go there and finish speech and done with it. And I was interviewed after the uh, receiving Oscar, how I feel about receiving this as an agent. I don't think that way. I receive this as a one human being, it's not as an agent. And as soon as I start to think I'm an Asian, I will fail. I think it's each person's responsibility to live as a one human being and not to be con conditioned by the level you put on or color you put on or skin you have. All people who succeeded, they go beyond that. You know, It's not what outside look like. Yeah. What's inside really matters. I hope I can use my life and, and contribute to uh, creativity. I still struggle, you know. I still have some issues or, or problems, but uh, I won't stop learning until I die, you know. <laughs> that's, uh, that, that's the way it is, I think.